Cause all that it takes is a little re-invention. Yeah, holy crap, I did not see this coming. We have our first official trailer for the Dear Evan Hansen movie. Now, if you've been subscribed to me for a while, you've heard me mention Dear Evan Hansen a couple times. Dear Evan Hansen is a fairly new musical. It's only been on Broadway for what? five years or so, and it's already being made into a movie. Although honestly, I can't blame the studios because in this day and age, we could all use a story like this. I'll be honest though, I am not as attached to this show as I am to say Wicked or West Side Story or Heathers. I mean, I know the story of it, but I don't know like all the songs by heart. My younger brother though, who's like a super Broadway nerd, in fact, he hopes to work on Broadway someday. He's like a huge fan of the show. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's one of his favorites, if not his absolute favorite. He loves the show a lot more than I do. So there is that. In fact, he's actually the one who let me know about this trailer in the first place. I woke up this morning and the first thing I saw on my phone was a text message from him with a link to the trailer. So thanks, Jeremy. And this is actually a pretty long trailer. It's like over three minutes and it shows a lot of the story. It's pretty much like the exact opposite of the first trailer we got for West Side Story. You know, that was like a complete teaser trailer which had little to no dialogue. This trailer is like twice as long and not only does it tell you the story, but I think it kind of, it spoils a little bit of it. I'll get to that. So in Dear Evan Hansen, we have Evan Hansen played by Ben Platt, which works because Ben Platt originated the role of Evan Hansen on Broadway. So I guess the movie studios just figured, all right, well, he killed that role, so let's just bring him back for the movie. And for the most part, I think that's great. The only thing about it, though, is the fact that, yeah, now all of these high schoolers are gonna be played by people who are older than me, for the most part. Ben Platt is like 27 years old, and so all the high schoolers are gonna look like they're in their late 20s. I mean, Connor Murphy in this trailer straight up looks like a full-grown adult. I guess it's not too big of a problem. I do wish that they would be played by younger people, or at least younger looking people. That's why I think Tom Holland works as Peter Parker, because sure, he's around my age, but he looks like 16, so it works. And I'll admit, Ben Platt does look younger than 27 in this trailer, sure, but in my opinion, not that much younger. His hair is different than it was in this stage show. That's weird. Now it looks kind of like a Jufro. I guess that makes sense. I mean, Ben Platt is Jewish. So the story of Dear Evan Hansen goes that Evan Hansen is a high schooler with social anxiety, also known as a high schooler. His therapist assigns him to write letters to himself, but one of these letters is stolen by Connor Murphy. Connor Murphy is a really troubled kid. And through a series of events, which include Connor taking his own life, Evan Hansen is made to look like he and Connor were friends, where that was actually not the case at all. They weren't ever really friends. But Evan Hansen is now seen as the one who understood Connor Murphy and all of his problems. And so Connor's family is like, oh, Evan Hansen, please tell us about our boy. And so Evan Hansen, instead of coming clean, he's like, hey, I'm getting all this attention now. So he runs with the lie, which yeah, I'll be honest, you're gonna laugh at me for this, but it reminds me of the plot of Shark Tale. I know, I know, but it's essentially the same thing, right? Kind of. The main character is seen as like a hero, so he runs with the lie to make himself feel better. That's the movie I thought of anyway. Actually, the Peanuts movie had a plot like that too, for part of it. We see Julianne Moore as Evan Hansen's mother, Heidi. I didn't know Julianne Moore could sing. She actually shares the first song in the show with Connor's mother, who's played by Amy Adams in this movie. So that should be interesting. A song shared by Julianne Moore and Amy Adams? Yeah, I'd like to see that. We see Zoe Murphy, who is Connor's sister, and who Evan Hansen has an enormous crush on. And Alana in this movie is played by Rue from The Hunger Games. Yeah, it's great to see her again. Amanda Stenberg, I believe, is the actress's name. And wow, she did a great job growing up. I'll be honest though, I don't really know a lot about the guy they have playing Jared in this movie. Jared, I think is Evan Hansen's best friend, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And of course, the song they use in this trailer is You Will Be Found. Let that lonely feeling wash away. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay. This is the song that ends act one of the show and is enough to make even a grown man cry. I'll be honest, full transparency, I have cried to this song. It's powerful stuff. It's a really strong message. I'm not gonna say what it is here because I do want to leave a little bit to the imagination, which I feel like is not entirely the full intention of this trailer. Because towards the end of this trailer, it does show that Evan Hansen's lie gets out. Were you ever actually friends with him? I never meant to make it such a mess. I was trying to help. I'm like, why would you show that in this trailer? That does spoil a little bit of the story. I mean, true, we don't get to see how people react to it. So that part is left unspoiled. But still, I feel like his lie getting out should not have been shown in this trailer. I mean, ideally, this trailer should have been like 45 seconds shorter. Two and a half minutes. We all know that that is the standard good length time for an official trailer. I don't know, maybe they're trying to compete with Sony and Venom Let There Be Carnage because this movie is in fact coming out on that same weekend. If I had to guess, it's probably gonna make 
make less money than Venom, but I'm probably gonna like this movie more than Venom. I wonder which one I'm gonna see first. So in the end, Dear Evan Hansen looks really good. And I mean, holy shit, this year alone we have In the Heights, Dear Evan Hansen, and West Side Story, all three of which I am pretty convinced are going to be among my favorite movies of the year. Folks, it is a great time to be a fan of musicals. Now all we need is our official casting announcement for the Wicked movie, and I will be gold. But Dear Evan Hansen is a really heavy story. It's relevant, and it looks like it's gonna be done justice. My brother even said that it looks very accurate to the show. So his word is enough for me. So the official trailer for Dear Evan Hansen. Have you watched it yet? What do you think about it? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.